players, coaches, introduce yourselves if you would, please. People just think paper, oh, that, this, this is the winner, and it doesn't work like that. You know, my experience has always been, you know, guys that get off the ball. How do they get off the ball, right? And if you have a team that you know, can come downhill and get off the ball like we saw last night, you're going to get challenged. It's great having good competition going into the playoffs. Like last year, we came from dominating all year into a very good game against Mount Carmel. They're a great team over there in Missouri, and it gave us confidence going into the playoffs, and we have a lot of room to work, but we're ready, man. I think it was great for our resolve last night. Uh, you know, obviously our guys, you know, survived and, and, and played well enough to, to get the win, but uh, that was a great test for us and a, a really good Week 9 game. That Capital City was the first team all season long to kind of ugly up the tape a little bit for Quincy High School might have been the best case scenario Rick Little could have hoped for in Week 9. Because in contrast to this time last year, the Blue Devil coaching staff now has an exact bead on where to sharpen and where to polish, particularly for a defense that is so vitally important to carrying this Blue Devil squad past last year's stumbling blocks. Okay, so you know with the Capital City team, great program, great. I love their coaching staff. I love everything they did. You know, it was a different offense that we've seen. We've never really seen something as, you know, deep and as good as they were, you know, and that really does help with knowing that playing that in week nine can help us play off round four, play off round five, you never know, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I really do think that helped in a way, but we have still stuff that we can need to work on. And more critically that they were able to do so without losing one iota of faith in that unit's ability to be elite when the competition rises to say. You know, we, we allowed a lot of points last night. That's not what we do. Um, but the fact that, you know, when we had to get stops, the adjustments that they were able to make, you know, the, the speed of play, the way they were to, uh, able to adjust to that, I thought, I mean, I was very, very, very proud of the defense simply because, um, yeah, it, that's not how many points we want scored against us, but the same time, uh, their ability to uh, you know to hang in there, to battle, to, and to get the stops when they had to was huge. So I thought our defense uh, is in a great position this time of year. Perhaps just as importantly, the Blue Devils' record-setting offense maintained its rhythm against terrific opposing force as well, even fighting its way out of a late first-half deficit. We we love to spin it and throw it around, but you know, the in, in the playoffs, the best friend is a, is a portion in the backfield, right? And so, not to put any pressure on any of our guys, but our offensive line's done a really good job up front all year. Uh, you know, feel like we have the ability to run the ball, and certainly we know we can spin it as well. So, uh, yeah, I think that we're pretty uh, pretty um, diverse that way, and, and pretty balanced, and that's something and that uh, excites me because I think we got the guys to do it. Always working better. I mean, every every week we have new wrinkles. I mean, so it's never really ending. It's just we always look to add things into our playbook. And um, yeah, I mean, we're still we're still improving.